In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export your video out of Final Cut Pro for DVD Studio Pro. Here we have an independent film that we've edited and we want to make a DVD. So before we export this for DVD Studio Pro, we need to ask ourselves a few questions. Number one, do we want to have chapter markers so that the person watching this in a DVD player can jump to different scenes or scene selections? It's really simple to insert a chapter marker on the timeline. All you need to do is just take the playhead and put it at a point where you'd like to create a chapter marker. So for instance, let's say that right here on the timeline, this is where I'd like to insert a chapter marker. What I want to do is make sure that I don't have anything selected. Like see how those clips are selected there? If we just click somewhere on the timeline in the gray background to deselect, and then what we want to do is press the M key on the keyboard wants to make a marker, notice how it added the marker, but if we like double click the M key twice real quick, here we go, it'll open up the marker window. And I'm just going to call this chapter one. And then down here where it says add chapter marker, I want to click on the add chapter marker and click OK. So there's our first marker. Let's just add a couple more for good measure. Let's say that this is the next scene, double click the M key, and we'll call this one chapter two and we'll click on add chapter marker and let's do a third one so double click m key and this one is chapter three all right great so we'll have three chapters on our dvd for now it's a short film it's only five minutes all right now let's export this for dvd studio pro let's go to file let's go to export and we want to choose quicktime movie it's going to open up our export window and down here under setting where it says current setting we want to go ahead and choose the correct format. Ours is DVNTSC 48K. It should be the current setting, but we'll go ahead and choose this setting here. We want to include audio and video. And down here where it says markers, we want to include chapter markers. Okay, so that DVD Studio Pro will see these. The next thing that we need to ask ourselves, are we authoring this DVD on the same computer? If so, we don't need to make what's called a self-contained movie we can make what's called a reference file. A reference file is a smaller QuickTime, but it refers back to the master media. So what that means is, is this QuickTime that we're gonna export will not work on another machine without the master media. If we're gonna author this DVD on a different machine, then we wanna check the Make Movie Self-Contained box so that the QuickTime clip will stand on its own and won't need the master media. I'm gonna uncheck this box because I'm gonna author this DVD on this machine. So I've got a folder here. Notice how I've organized this. I'm going to choose NFC DVD, and I'm just going to call this movie edit the name of my sequence, and I'm going to click Save. And this will export a clip that will be ready for DVD Studio Pro. So once this clip finishes rendering, then we're going to go to DVD Studio Pro.